Lord most sternly Puritan. See over there one of your divine creations? That wayfaring miracle that fits into tight jeans. See how those jeans sway. Behold the bulging buttock cheeks. Stars go nova. Galaxies collide. Distant warring planetary powers obliterate one another with death rays. And from all this I distract you with the rhythm of left cheek then right parading in my miscreant brain. Forgive me this extra burden I've laid upon you with my, <clears throat> with my mind in sync with Delilah-like bulges. <clears throat> for, bef for before you stands no Samson of moral strength. No, you the Almighty must for a moment let the universe run rampant just to attend to this reprobate's failing righteousness. Therefore unto you I pray, lead me down the straight and narrow from desiring Delilah to the actual Delilah. For is not honest to God depravity raunchier than mere fantasy? Thus answer my fervent, passionate prayer to make your cosmic moments with me far more precious by disciplining a sinner in flagranti delecto rather than one lost in wistful daydreams. <laughs> recollection. As I hold this snapshot I took of you that May, when those pink blossomed cherry trees cheerily welcome spring, I recall holding the camera a bit slanted. So today your face is slightly askew within the frame. Back then I tritely mumbled, say cheese, while actually touching you, touching you in the flesh. As I framed your awkward pose, I felt your warm cheek that May, and December seemed so very distant then. But now hard, clear, picture frame glass bars my hand from your cheek, and I hold the framed photo vertically at strict right angles to both ceiling and floor. As once again we are face to face, so few inches near, but so many years far. The Zen of garage parking for a modern Casanova. When, par when parking perpendicular in the nearby garage, always back in, head first is easier, of course. Just plunge ramrod straight into the slot, then go up to the apartment stairs to her boudoir. But even if you're so eager that you loathe to negotiate your smooth slipping into that slit, if you don't go back in today, then you must back out tomorrow. And how much slower, how much more nerve-wracking is going backwards and turning your head right and left for oncoming traffic. So be primed for tomorrow's quick withdrawal and getaway, for it always follows tonight's too eager insertion. A.M. Workday Bagel. The sheer obscenity of it, especially with a buttery smear spread within, but first slice the bagel in half along its rim and trace that cleft with your finger, running around the rotund corpulent curve, but not for too long. Instead, explore the other end and indulge in blissful reminiscence. After a whole night of sweaty gyro gyrations between the sheets, there's still that deliciously lovely inner lip held twixt your fingers, that hole through which the cheesy, creamy white squeezes into, like some squirting salve tempting your index finger, tempting you, for an I'll be late for work, cock crowing, crack of dawn, climax and anti-climax rerun. Oh, of course, there's also coffee. That caffeine morning cup after last evening's carafe of wine and a cigarette. No, that's passe. Besides, you already you are already pleasantly breathless. And don't forget the locks. That fleshy red flap dangling in the inner orifice. Let your tongue lead the way, then nibble. But not the bagel, stupid. 
That other creamy red opening. Save the bagel for man-sized bites. <laughs> <laughs> and one left.